Hello everyone and welcome back for day four of our 30 day accelerator. Now what we've done so far is we've covered off the site settings, we put together your first welcome email sequence, we created a coming soon page, a landing page, a freebie page, something for people to see when they first come to your website while you're working on everything else. Also hopefully something that is going to start to grow your email list. And what we're going to do today is we're going to work on the form that connects that page we did yesterday with the welcome email sequence that we did the day before. So let me share my account and we'll get into it. All right, so here we are inside of my Kajabi demo account. When you log into Kajabi, yours should look something like this. And a little recap of what we've done so far. So we did our site settings. They were down here. Important, boring, but important. Then we created our first welcome email sequence. So that's in the marketing menu under email campaigns, the emails that people are going to receive after they join your list. Then yesterday's session, what we did was we imported a couple of my template pages. First, a page that you can use to give away a free resource. Now, if you don't have a free resource created just yet, some kind of freebie to grow your list, you can simply repurpose this page into a coming soon page uh, and just you know change out the copy and the images so that it's not talking about a specific resource. Once somebody opts in either to stay up to date with all the latest happenings or to download your free resource, then we're going to send them through to the confirmation page. Now to do that, we are going to need a form in your account. The form ties all of this together. They submit the form on that first page that sends them to the confirmation page and it subscribes them to the email sequence that we created in day two, uh, yesterday, no, day before yesterday. Okay, so to create that form, again, it's gonna be in your marketing menu. So if you click over here on marketing, you're gonna be brought through to the marketing page, marketing section, and we're gonna go down here and we're going to click on forms. All right, now all Kajabi accounts come with one form already in them, this default form, which you're probably not going to use for anything. What we want to do now is create a form that is specific to that page that you created yesterday. So behind that little video panel of me, there is a black button uh, that says new form. If you click on that, and then what you're going to want to do is give your form a name. Now, if the page that you created yesterday is for a free resource, then the form name should you know, correspond to that so that you can easily find this form later. I would give it a name, something like opt-in and the name of the freebie, because over time you're probably going to create countless freebies. So each, each form needs to be, you know, so that you can easily find it. Um, the naming convention, also, if you can standardize that from the beginning, something like opt-in, name a freebie for all the opt-in forms that you create. If you're planning to create things like webinars, then you might have form names that say something like webinar, and the name of the webinar, and you might even go a step further and say name of the webinar with the, the month and the year, if you're going to be running webinars a lot. Um, so just have a think at the beginning, what kind of naming convention you would like for your forms, if you like things to be neat and tidy and all sort of named in the same way. So once you've given your form a name, click save and it will take you through to your form settings. Okay, now the default here is that it's going to be a double opt-in on your form. You can leave it like that. That is the very GDPR compliant way. It means that when somebody sees that page of yours that you created yesterday and they fill their details in, they're not actually going to get added to your email list. And they probably, you know, if you're going to send the freebie out in the email of the email sequence that we created the day before, they're not going to receive that email sequence until they doubly confirm that they actually want to be on your email list. So if you leave this double opt-in switched on, okay, they'll put their details in, they'll still see the confirmation page, but then what's going to happen is Kajabi is going to send them out a system email that says, please click this button to just reconfirm that you absolutely want to be on the email list. Once they click that button, then they're going to be added to your contacts list as a subscriber. And then at that point, they'll receive that welcome email campaign that we set up on day two. Okay, it's a very GDPR compliant way to do it. 
If you uh, are nervous about GDPR compliance, stick with this. Um, there is other benefits to using the double opt-in. So it does mean that you know your list will grow slower if you go with the double opt-in because a lot of people are going to opt in and then not bother to go over to their email and click that link that says they doubly you know want to reconfirm that they want to be on your email list so if they don't click that link they don't get added to your contacts list and they don't receive the email sequence now that means that the people who do click the link really, really want to be on your email list, okay? So they are going to be your, your loyal subscribers and you're going to have a slower growing list, but it's going to be a quality list. And it also means, you know, if they are clicking on that link to doubly confirm that they want to be on your email list, then the deliverability of your emails to their inbox should also be increased. Um, now, if you go with the single opt-in option, uh, people don't need to worry about clicking that link in the system email to say that they definitely want to be on your email list. As soon as they put their details into the form, they'll be added to your contacts list and they'll receive the first email in your welcome sequence. That option, however, is not particularly GDPR compliant. So whichever one you know you want to go with, I'm not going to get involved in that discussion. Um, at my end, I usually go for single opt-in just to make it really easy for people to get on the email list and get the free thing that they asked for. If you are going to stick with the double opt-in, then down here, you can customize the, the message that goes out to people um, after they fill in the form on your email list uh, on your website. So you can change the subject line. You can change this little blurb here. You can see that the standard default, they're going to receive an email from Kajabi that just says important. Please confirm your subscription. I wouldn't change that too much. Um, but down here where it says thanks for signing up, click the button below to confirm your subscription to name of your Kajabi site. I would probably personalize that a little bit. And then down here, you can customize the button um, to be on brand, and you can also change what's going, what it's going to say on the button. Now, if you are going to leave this double opt-in switched on, you can also here toggle this so that once they click the button, they're actually taken to a landing page in your account. So if you wanted to, you could take them back to the confirmation page, for example, um, or you know you could create another page in your account that just says confirmation um, subscription confirmed. But down here, we've got that name of guide confirmation. You could put that one in and you could just send them back to the freebie confirmation page. So that's if you are going for the double opt-in, I would customize the, the little bit of text that goes into that system email from Kajabi. Um, I would probably slightly adjust the button text. I would change the branding on the button and you can set here uh, what page people are gonna see after they click the button in that email. Now, I'm gonna go with single opt-in for this. So I'm gonna untoggle this button and I'm gonna untoggle this button and I'm gonna change it to single and I'm going to save. All right, so we've got the, the starting point of our form set up and double or single really doesn't matter. Okay, now over here in the after submission section, would you like to be notified as people are joining your list? So either they're opting in for your freebie or they're putting in their details just to stay connected to you so that they can hear when you are ready to, to launch whatever it is that you're working on. If you would like to be notified every time somebody joins your list, you will need to check this top box and put your email address in and okay and then you need to make sure that it has gone gray like that or it's not going to save if yours hasn't gone gray hit the return button on your keyboard okay and then down the bottom here this is where the magic is going to happen this automations section so this is where we want to set an automation that says if somebody fills in this form subscribe them to that email sequence that we were working on in day two. So let's just have a quick look at that email campaign. So we're here in marketing and we're in email campaigns. Now, if I click into that email campaign that we started to write, you can see here that currently there are zero subscribe triggers, okay? Which means that we've written this email sequence, but right now there's no way to actually get people onto this sequence. So what we need is a subscribe trigger that says, if somebody completes that form that we created, then subscribe them to this email sequence. Now you can set the subscribe trigger here 
if you want to add trigger, or you can set it inside of the form that we're working on. I'm going to set it here, seeing as we're inside the form already. So we're going to add an automation and the automation is going to be when the form is submitted, name of your form, then subscribe to an email sequence. And the email sequence is going to be that welcome sequence we just created and save. And so I'm going to save my form. And then I'm going to go back over into that email sequence over here. So before, when we looked at it, there were no subscribe triggers. And now if we refresh, you can see that that one subscribe trigger has popped up. And if we expand it, you can see here that uh, the subscribe trigger is when the form is submitted, name of your form, and you can click into the form from here if you want to. Um, but the name of the form, as soon as somebody fills that in, add them to this email sequence where they're going to get that first email immediately on day zero. And then you can space out the subsequent emails after that in the sequence. Okay, so that is the form and connecting it to the email. But now what we need to do is we need to put that form into the page that we created yesterday. Okay, guys, that will do us for today. So we created a form. We got our head around the double opt-in versus the single opt-in. We made sure we set that automation so that the form subscribes people to the email sequence. And we added that form to the landing page that you created yesterday. Right, so go ahead, work on all of that. And then what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to set that landing page from yesterday as your interim homepage while you're working on everything else in the background. And we'll also set up the SEO for it so that you can get out there and share it on social media and with the world. So I will see you back for part five.